y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today and talk about Lincoln. Doing this in collab with two lovely ladies. Laurie, I, she was one of the first people I met on here and she's just infectious. When she laughs, she makes me laugh. She's just fun, knowledgeable, does a lot of makeup and skincare and she's just fun. And then Dawn, I have to tell y'all how I came to know Dawn. The first time I ever saw, I don't even think she knows this, I was coming off a nightmare vacation. Canceled flights every time we flew. A week in Mexico and we ended up staying at a resort where women were disappearing and showing up murdered. Literally. Came back and thought I had a parasite. The last flight was canceled and they wouldn't release our luggage. So we were stranded in an airport for 16 hours. I laid in my hotel bed that night. It was like three in the morning. Opened YouTube, all of a sudden, this sweet, beautiful girl was on my wall. And that's when I met Dawn. And we became very fast friends. Love both these ladies. If you don't know them, go check them out. Talking about Lancome, I sold them in 1993. And let me tell you, I think why I'm so attached to it. I couldn't afford it. And the women that came to my counter were just luxury to me. And I was just enamored with it. And then I started using it because they gave it to me for free. A couple of products I've used for 30 years. I'm going to start here and tell you about some old favorites and some new friends. The first product that I'm going to talk to you about is Dual Finish. I have used this off and on since 93. What is that, 25 years? My color is Porcelain Devois. Sometimes I just get porcelain. It's a foundation, but it can be a touch-up powder. And when you use it as a touch-up powder, it totally redoes your makeup because it's a foundation. And you can use the sponge and just press it on. It also comes with a kind of a fatter sponge and you can put, apply it wet. I think that makes it a fuller coverage if I'm remembering correctly. Y'all, when my husband was coaching 20 years ago, we lived in a small town and we're barely making it. I charged this. I would go to Dillard's and put this on my Dillard's charge and pay it off. I just love this. Okay, and then <laughs> Lancome liners. I'm mostly a drugstore lip liner girl. I was watching Lisa Lisa D1 and she loved the ideal. So I bought the ideal. It's just a pinky nude. And it is, if you're new here, I love the pinky nude. The ideal is perfect. It shows up, goes on nice and like a medium, not too dark, not too light. It's perfect. You can also use these as a lipstick and it has a brush on this end. Then I also love this one. Got this from a subscriber when I very first started my channel. She was like, have you tried the Bronzel? That's a little more peach. Like I could wear that better with like my toasted tip baby lips. This is like ideal, but a little bit earthier. Okay, then I just got this one. I used this this morning. This is too light for me. I tell you what this would be great for is overlining your lips. This is the color of my lips. Yeah, right there. It barely shows up on my hand. I could probably use that as a lipstick, but it's too much work. Then the Portel. Beautiful in the wintertime because it's a wine color. That's really nice. When I want my liner to show a little bit more because like maybe I've gone a little too dead with my lips. So I need a little darker liner to kind of mix it in. The Portel. And then I also have a real rosy color. And this is, hold on, Sundrop Berry. It's a real vibrant, vibrant pink. And I love that because I can pink in up my lipsticks with that. But y'all, this is my favorite. This is my top top. This is the rose. Probably saw this on Lisa Lisa D1. She's my queen of the neutral. It's that one. I love this. I'm going to use up with it right now. So this is what I'm using up. But I, I loved this when I was using my Rimmel liner up. This is perfection to me. When I'm talking about color, pretty much any color, you can match that just as well at the drugstore. But sometimes I just want to go into a department store and treat myself. I just do. Or for stocking stuffers. When I treat myself, it's with a Lancome liner. Okay, then... I have been using Sparkling Pesh, and I've had this in several videos. It's a highlighter. I have it on today. This is top, top, top. I love this, and I've got quite a collection of highlighters now. I will tell you, this is not subtle. The natural highlighter look, no, that's not what this is. But I have learned how to tone this down, and I think it was Annie P, Makeup and More, that last week did a 
fabulous demonstration on how she does her blush and highlighter. If that was somebody else, I apologize and I'll note it down below. Contour, then highlighter. The highlighter goes on before the blush. Y'all may all know this. I did not. The highlighter goes on be before the blush. That is real important because then you're putting it on a clean slate. Then you put your blush over it. And if your highlighter is too dramatic, kind of cover it up with the blush. And then if it's still too, too dramatic, I go over it a little bit with the powder. Then you tone it down and you're left with this healthy, beautiful glow. But I will tell you, when it goes on, it goes on. It's like the cover effects drops. It's there. So if you'll put it on first and then follow with your blush, which again, most of you probably know, but probably not everybody because I didn't. I picked up another one, Luminous Gold. Also, beautiful. Ah, uh, that, that is really gonna... I've fallen quickly in love with the Lancome highlighter and I have used that I would say for about two months and it's making me really use it daily. I love it. Okay, next a blush. This has not been used much, so this is a first impression, but really how much time do you need with a blush? A blush, again, I'm a L'Oreal girl. You never need to spend a lot on a blush. However, do I enjoy this very much? It has a very nice pigment. You don't have to work hard to get it on. I like the color. It's very pigmented. I just tap my brush in this. This is what I have on today. And this color is Summer Peach Lingerie. And in the wintertime, I just like a real cool pink. Makes you look like you've been out in the cold. Okay, Glitzy Fritzy had this on her yearly favorites, I believe it was, last week. And I was like, oh yes, I'm getting that. It's a bronzer. And this is called Lumiere. This is the Star Bronzer. I fell in love with this immediately. This is a new friend. I love that this has kind of, to me... Now, I'm going to say this, but I'm a little colorblind with makeup. To me, this has a little bit of a red underneath it. Well, I always, I'm like, why does anybody need a bronzer? I do that with my blush. Well, sometimes I come across looking a little sunburned. I tone it down with this. I love it. And I have it on today. I put my blush on, and then I toned it down just a little bit on my forehead and cheeks with this. Just Warms up my blush a little bit. Okay, the next new item I have is a lipstick. Okay, wait, I wanna show y'all. Now, this is part of my thrill, y'all. I will tell you, I was like, how do you open that? You push the beautiful top of it and it pops out. I did not do that in 1993. This is Nuit Injure. I'll, I'll link it down below. It's a peach, but it is sheer. I'm gonna get another one of these, y'all. It's beautiful. I can wear color, but it's kind of sheared out, so it doesn't go too dark on me. It feels great on my lips. I feel like it's hydrating, does not dry them out, but lasts. I love this. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna look for a pink one like that, like an earthy pink. Another new friend, and I'll tell you why I picked this up. This is their Sills Booster. This is a eyelash primer. This is a first impression on this. The reason I picked this one up is because I tried the L'Oreal, and it's great. In fact, I think I like the buildup on the L'Oreal better, but at the end of the day, the L'Oreal, it did not transfer, but it, you know how sometimes you just want to pick your lashes? I have certain mascaras that make me just want to pick my eyelashes every time. I, I just was like, I was just picking at my eyelashes with the L'Oreal, and I thought, well, maybe I won't do that with the Lancome. I haven't so far. I've only used this a couple of times, though. So, again, this is a first impression. It will show up as a favorite or a fail, so be watching for it in the future. If you like a lash primer, you might love this, If the, but I would try the L'Oreal first, honestly. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. I would try the L'Oreal first. It's the same company, and it's lovely, and it might not make you want to pick your eyelashes. I would try that first, and if that doesn't work for you, this one's very nice. I'll let y'all know. This will show up later. Okay, y'all. This next one, I have fallen in love with this. Like, truly, madly, deeply. I want to try this forever. It's the Tint Adol. I have it on today. I love this. Now... I'm not going to call this a luminous finish because I have to powder everything and I don't have to powder as much with this. So it may be more of a matte. It's a medium coverage that's buildable. This is a shade too light for me. So I used it over the Shiseido BB tinted medium because I needed to darken this a little bit. If you have this, love it over it. 
I would never suggest that you go out and buy both of these. That's very pricey. This is also beautiful over my Dr. Jart. You know, just over whatever sunscreen you have. Not to darken it with the Shiseido. I happen to fall madly in love with it, but I loved it without it too. It's just a beautiful, velvety finish. This will absolutely go in my rotation with my Double Wear my Dior Forever. Now, I think over the months or however long I've been watching YouTube, I think I've seen mixed reviews on this. I'm weighing in. I love this. I love it. Did not expect to love it that much. I wanted to try another Lancome besides the dual finish for y'all, so I've been trying that for over a week. Pretty much love it. Anyway, that's all I have for you. Y'all go over and see Don and Laurie. They are precious. If you have questions or comments, leave those down below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.